These two paintings uh, are very typical uh, uh, as far as the medium goes. My father used masonite for a lot of his paintings. So that's what's behind what this paint is on, is on a hardboard of masonite. He used mostly acrylics and sometimes even put a clear finish over the top of it at the end, but it was usually not very shiny. This particular uh, painting is called Upper Levels. Where he came up with his names for the paintings, I'm not sure, but most of them were very simple. They didn't tell you necessarily what you are supposed to interpret the painting as or what it's supposed to be a painting of. This I find extremely interesting that there's such a strong swoop in this one and it's very soft below it and much more, I'd say, sort of worked or busy above it. Once again, this sort of feels like a horizon line here. There's a certain color that my father used quite a bit and it's cadmium, well, cadmium colors, cadmium red, cadmium orange. This line right here uh, is definitely uh, in that tone, the sort of orangey colors. He got very involved with putting little small lines of color, which really have to do with breaking up the space in some way or another. And that little line of color there, and some of these, like here's a short one, here's a short one, there's a little bit longer one, but they have to do with breaking up the space and giving uh, an impression of a deeper space than, say, what Jackson Pollock did. Jackson Pollock had a lot of surface uh, lines, and my father took that idea and wanted to make them more deep space. So that's what a lot of his paintings were about, was getting people to be able to see farther in or farther out, depending on how you interpret that.